verse 265, from chapter 2, verse 145. In all things there is no self-nature. Words, too, are devoid of reality. As the ignorant understand not what is meant by emptiness, yes, by emptiness they wander about. 266. Imagining himself to be standing on a truth, he discourses on thought construction. Oneness is not attained in five ways, and thus the truth is abandoned. 267. Delusion is the evil one who is to be broken down. Being and non-being is to be transcended. As one sees into the truth of egolessness, he has no longing for, no evil thought of, the world. 268. The philosophers imagine a permanently existing creator engaged in mere verbalism. Highest truth is beyond words. The Dharma is seen when cessation takes place. 269. Leaning on the Alaya for support, the Manas is evolved. Depending on the Chitta and Manas, the Vijnana system is evolved. 270. What is established by a proposition is a proposition. Suchness is the essence of mind. When this is clearly perceived, the yogin attains the knowledge of mind only. 271. Let one not think of the manas, individual signs, and reality from the point of view of permanency and impermanency, nor let him think in his meditation of birth and no birth. 272. They do not discriminate duality. The vijnana rises from alaya. The oneness of meaning thus taking place is not to be known by a duly operating mind. 273. There is neither a speaker, nor speaking, nor emptiness, since the mind is seen. But when the mind is not seen, there rises a net of philosophical doctrines. 274. There is no rising of the causation chain, nor are there any sense organs. No datus, no skandhas, no greed, no sanskrita. 275. There is no primarily working fire, no working done, no effects produced, no final limit, no power, no deliverance, no bondage. 276. There is no state of being to be called neutral or inexplicable. There is no duality of dharma and odd dharma. There is no time, no nirvana, no dharma essence. 277. And there are no Buddhas, no truths, no fruition, no causal agents, no perversion, no nirvana, no passing away, no birth. 278. And then there are no twelve elements, and no duality either, of limit and no limit. Because of the cessation of all the notions that are cherished by the philosophers, I declare that there is mind only. 279. The passions, path of karma, the body, creators, fruitions, they are like a Fata Morgana and a dream. They are like a city of the Gandharvas. 280. By maintaining the mind only, the idea of reality is removed. By establishing the mind only, permanency and annihilation are seen in their proper relationship. 281. There are no skandhas in nirvana, nor is there an ego soul, nor any individual signs. By entering into the mind only, one escapes from becoming attached to emancipation. 282. It is error that causes the world to be externally perceived, as it is manifested to people. Mind is not born of the visible world. Therefore, mind is not visible. 283. It is the habit energy of people that brings out into view something resembling body, property, and abode. Mind is neither a being nor a non-being. It does not reveal itself because of habit energy. 
284. Dirt is revealed within purity, but purity itself is not soiled. As when the sky is veiled with clouds, mind is invisible when defiled with error.